a magnetic field line. The magnetic field of a magnet is represented by the magnetic field line. So we used a field line, a field lines to represent a magnetic field. Okay. This magnetic field is not static. We call it the magnetic flux. It's a flow, flows of this uh, magnetic flux. So if it's a flow, then it must uh, it must come out from a certain place and then go into a certain place, right? So it means that it has directions. Eh? So this magnetic field line it has directions. And uh, the directions is from the North Pole flowing into the South Pole, eh? coming out from the uh, North Pole and flow into the South Pole. Eh? Okay, So this is North Pole and this is the South Pole. And uh, this is a field line and this field line has directions. And the direction is from the North Pole. Eh? Okay, it come out. North Pole. Go into the South Pole. Eh? Okay, go into the South Pole. Okay, so North Pole come out. Okay, the magnetic field line it come out. And it go into the South Pole. So we just need to know that this uh, magnetic field, it come out from a North Pole and then go into a South Pole. And then the strength of the magnetic field is uh, is represented by the distance between the field lines. Eh? For example, this one, okay, the line is uh, close to each other. Uh, the field is strong. Eh? So like this one, the field is uh, far from each other, then this is a weaker field. So the distance between the field lines represent the strength of the field. Eh? The closer the field line, the stronger the field. So this is a stronger field, and uh, this is a weaker field. Okay, that is about the strength of the field. Eh? Compass in the magnetic field. Eh? If you put a compass in the magnetic field, pattern and the directions of a magnetic field can be determined by the compass. And the pointers of the compass is always in the directions of the magnetic field. So I'll explain to you later. Okay, Let's say this is a compass. Okay, This is a compass. But uh, usually in a book okay, or in an exam, eh, they won't draw this. They won't draw this, uh, but instead they will draw this. Okay, they will just draw a circle with an arrow. So then you need to know that this arrow is the pointer in the compass. This arrow is the pointers of the compass. And this pointer is point to the north. Or uh, this pointer it follows the pattern of the magnetic field. Okay, if the magnetic field is going up, then it will point up. If if the magnetic field uh, point to the right, then it it, it will uh, point to the right. So it follow the uh, di directions of the field line. Eh? Okay, the pointer follow the directions of the field line, or it point to the north. Eh? It point to the north. Uh, that is uh, if there is no other magnetic field. Eh? Okay, you just put it uh, on the surface of the earth, then it will point to the north. But if you put it inside a magnetic field other than the magnetic field of the Earth, uh, uh, then it will follow the patterns of the magnetic field. Okay, I'll, I'll show you later. I'll show you later. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, uh, this one is in your notes. Uh. This one is in your notes. Uh. So in this example, I would like you to draw the pointer of the compass. The pointer of the compass. Uh. So for example, uh, this one. Okay, this one. So uh, how how the pointers look like if you put a compass here okay now as I told you just now the pointer of the compass will follow the directions of the field line so if you put uh, a compass here okay so the pointer will point to this direction so it follow the directions of the field line because the the magnetic field is uh, sorry the yes the magnetic field is come from the north eh? come out from the north and go into south, eh? so so it come out from the north. Uh, here, if it's here, then uh, it will point to the left. It will point to the left. Draw the pointer of the compass. Okay, I already show you the first two. Okay, so four more. These four compass. I would like you to draw the directions eh, of the pointer. So this answer. Eh? So these four compass. You follow the. Uh, patterns of the field line come up from north go into the south eh? 